Hey, how's it going guys? Jason here and on today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a fresh copy of Windows on your PC. Now, this is a vlog style video. Um, I feel like it's much more personal when I do it like this. But uh, if you guys are interested in these kind of videos, tech tips, uh, PC builds and all that good stuff, uh, make sure you guys like, uh, comment and subscribe for more content like this, alright? So right here. We got our PC. Actually, I got a dual PC set up. It's kind of dirty right now. I got a, a lot of mess on my on my table. But uh, this PC right here, this monitor is connected to my second PC over here. Uh, we're going to show you guys uh, how to wipe and install a fresh copy of Windows. Maybe you've had some issues with um, uh, maybe a bad update, uh, Windows update, or maybe your computer ran into an error or something of the sort. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go step by step and yeah, show you how to do it. All right, so the only tool you need really is a flash drive and um, it has to be eight gigs or more. Um, so once you got your flash drive ready, just pop it into a PC that's already functioning and you wanna go straight to your um, browser. Wait, I can't get a stand. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, you want to head straight to your browser next and then you want to search up Windows 10 download. Uh, the first link that comes up is from Microsoft and you want to hit that. Um, my internet is kind of slow right now and I don't know why. But it's, it's slow, it's loading, it's loading. It's taking a while. Alright, I guess we'll skip until it comes up. <laughs> Alright, finally, my internet is being weird right now, but anyways. All right, so once you're on the main Microsoft website, um, you wanna hit right here, download now. Well, there's a create, uh, it says create Windows 10 installation media, and that's what we need, so we're gonna hit download. I had already downloaded it, so, but whatever, it's right here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and open it. Um, it should say this on your screen. Just hit yes, um, and then it's gonna load right there. All right, getting few things ready. All right, so once it's finished, it's gonna look like this. You wanna go ahead and hit the exception button and with your flash drive uh, already in the system, it's gonna get everything ready and then it's gonna scan for that flash drive and then you're gonna choose it. All right, so right here it says, what do you want to do? You want to upgrade your PC or create an installation, installation media USB flash drive. So that's the one that we want to do. We're going to create an installation media and then we want to hit next at the bottom. Um, and right here, this is important because it depends on what kind of system you have. Um, you choose your language, uh, Windows 10, um, and then you choose the architecture. This is basically what kind of CPU you're running. Um, you can hit the little little thing right here, or you can hit on your keyboard, um, Windows and E. My keyboard is kind of messed up right now. But you wanna go to Windows Explorer, and then right here, over this PC, just right click and hit Properties, and then it will tell you if, if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system and processor. So once it's 64-bit here, you're gonna choose 64-bit, or if it's 32-bit, you'll do the same, okay? All right, so we're ready. We got our language, got our Windows 10. We got our architecture ready, so we hit next. And right here, choose media to use. It says flash drive, so I'm gonna hit next on that too. And then see it already scans for the flash drive. You wanna go ahead and hit next again. Then it'll get everything ready and install uh, the Windows 10 um, software on your flash drive. All right, so it's finished. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish down there. And then it's gonna tidy up some stuff. Oh, it's gone, okay, it's done. <laughs> Anyways, um, so once that's finished, you wanna go ahead and take your flash drive out of whatever system you got it in and then find the computer that you want to reprogram and put it in. If I can put it in. All right. All right, so now over here on the PC that we want to reprogram, you can see that our flash drive is ready. It says ESD, whatnot. Of course, if your computer has an error or whatnot, it's not going to show this. But if you already have your Windows um, on, 
um, it will show this and then you're ready to go, okay? But anyways, we're gonna shut the PC down. Go ahead and shut down. All right, so once it's off, there's a couple keys on your keyboard. Sorry, my keyboard is kind of messy. Let me use this one for example. All right, you wanna go into boot mode. So boot mode is either gonna be escape, um, F9, F10, or F11. Sometimes F12 on certain computers. But for this computer, I think it's escape. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna pour it on. All right, and I'm gonna smash escape. Uh, F2, delete, I think it's, actually that was not it, okay. All right, let's power it off one more time, okay. Um, let me see. All right, here's, uh, let me see, let me see. Here's another way to do it. Um, if you smash the key and it doesn't work, just go ahead and fire up your system. And then you want to go to the BIOS. Um, for me, for this computer, um, it'll tell you at the bottom, press uh, delete or F2 for to enter BIOS. And all right, I'm in my BIOS right now. Uh, the thing that you wanna do here, I know a lot of you guys might not be uh, familiar and it might look a little bit different from mine, um, but you wanna go over to boot. You're gonna have like a couple tabs. The only thing you're gonna focus on is boot and in this long list, what you want to do is click the boot options. So for this one, I'm going to change it to the uh, the, the flash drive. Um, actually, I'm going to change it to the flash drive for both of them. All right. So that way, it will definitely uh, it will definitely see and boot from it. Disable the second one and keep on the flash drive. And then you just hit F10, and then you should be good to go. So it should automatically um, just boot from the flash drive now, instead of trying to find which, whichever key, um, you know, to use to boot. All right, so let's see if it does it. Wish me well. All right, so that's a good sign. It took a little pause. Now it should be, yep, there we go. All right, so now this is what, this is the screen that you're gonna be greeted with once everything is fully centered on your flash drive and you boot properly. Now, the key thing to do once you get here, um, make sure your language is set, uh, the time zone and whatnot. You wanna hit next and don't install yet. You wanna go to repair your PC and this is where things is gonna get a little bit technical but it's gonna be super easy because I'm gonna walk through with it, walk through it with you so you hit troubleshoot and then uh, command prompt right here. All right, so all we're doing is just like trying to wipe the drive before we install the, um, we install the fresh windows, okay? So you wanna hit, uh, I don't know if you can see this properly. Let me try to fix that. All right, so you wanna hit colon, colon, C, right? So it's like a sad fit, wait, no, never mind. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> so you want to do C colon, right? C colon, not colon C. You want to do a, a happy face, though, the backwards happy face. <laughs> but uh, then you type in D I S K P A R T. So it's disk part, right? And then it says copyright, uh, baby. So disk part. And then once you're here, you're going, you're doing well so far, so don't get discouraged. <laughs> um, once you're here, you wanna go ahead and type uh, list disk. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my son crying, I'm sorry. <laughs> list space disk, and then press enter. Right, so it's gonna show you all the uh, drives on your computer, and it's gonna also show you the flash drive, so. In this case, um, we're gonna wipe the main drive, which you can see is a very top one, uh, disk zero. And then, so we're gonna go select disk zero. And once it's selected, like it says disk zero is now selected, you wanna hit clean. So now when you hit clean and enter, 
It says successful clean disk. What this is gonna do is just wipe the drive entirely. And you wanna go ahead and hit exit. Exit again. And then you can see, choose an option. Just go down to turn off your PC. All right, and then there you go. Your drive is wiped. Now all you gotta do is boot your computer one more time and let it let it go straight to the um, the installation tab again. A little technical, but once you once you've done this, that's basically it. All right, so it's gonna load again. It's pausing again, then it's gonna load. All right, perfect. So now we're back in the uh, menu right here. You wanna go ahead and make sure your language and everything is set up. Hit next. And then now we're gonna click install now. Um, and let this load. All right, there we go. So if you have a product key, um, I would suggest type it in here and then hit next. But if you do not have a product key, you can hit the little, I do not have a product key uh, tab right here. And then um, I won't explain to you all the other uh, Windows 10 version, but most likely you're a regular uh, PC user. So I would say choose Windows 10 Pro. And then right here, hit next again. And basically it's gonna ask you to agree to the terms and conditions. Nobody really read those. <laughs> um, and then custom install, all right? And then you'll see your drive pop up. It's fresh, uh, totally formatted and ready to go. Uh, so hit next, and then it's gonna install everything. So this should move pretty quickly. All right, so now it's finishing up. What you wanna do is go ahead and remove your flash drive out of the slot, and then it's saying right there, restarting in a couple seconds. So now everything is gonna be automatically set in the BIOS. Um, because there's a fresh copy of Windows on your flash drive. So now everything should just load right in um, uh, to your fresh installation. And as you can see, we remove the flash drive. All right, so now we're greeted with the screen and it says, let's start with region. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select United States or wherever you are in this world and hit yes. Then what it's gonna do is gonna give you another list of prompts. Uh, is this the right keyboard layout? Make sure your keyboard is set up right. And hit yes. And then this one you can skip. And then it says no ethernet connection uh, detected. So yeah, um, I removed the ethernet connection because, or a Wi-Fi connection because um, it's gonna install, it's gonna do like some install of Windows updates and it's gonna ask you to like install, uh, to log in. To a Microsoft account and I don't want to do that so I want to do like a regular account and say no I don't have internet and then right here you want to see uh, it says there's more to discover and whatnot and I say all right nope continue with limited setup don't want to install anything too crazy then you just add a name I'm gonna go for Jason oh wrong keyboard <laughs> Jason Hit enter, and if you want to make a password, just go ahead and make a password. But for me, I'm not making any. Now, right here, it says choose privacy settings. Um, I normally um, untick all of this, every last one, uh, because it's like sharing location and stuff like that. Um, you want to prompt those whenever you um, are using a specific app or whatnot. So this one now says, let Cortana help you do things. I, know, I personally don't let Cortana do anything on my PC. But uh, if you guys want to do that, then it's up to you. So I'll hit not now. And then that's pretty much it. Um, everything is going to load up. It'll uh, be greeting you very soon. This PC is pretty fast, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, that took a little bit longer than I thought. But yeah, we're here. That's a fresh no compromise version of Windows 10. All right, and I'm sure this is how you do it for Windows 11 also. Um, let me go ahead and plug in my internet again. Once your internet is plugged in, then you wanna go ahead and install all the Windows updates, um, all your drivers and so forth. All right, so 
there's a separate video that I'm gonna be doing uh, covering like every single thing that you do after you install Windows. Uh, so if that's something that you guys wanna see, I'm sorry, the camera's not focusing. If that's something you guys wanna see, just let me know in the comments below. Um, I really appreciate all the love and the support from you guys. Uh, make sure you guys, whoopsie, let's see. It's, it's not focused. But anyways, <laughs> make sure you guys uh, comment down below um, any issues or anything that you might be having. I'll make sure I reply to you guys, okay? All right, I love you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, be sure to drop a like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.